Have you heard that Best Buy has removed all physical media from their shelves? They're no longer selling CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray, oh, and wow. I think even video games. Kind of like what you did. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I did that <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm kind of bummed about the video games, though. Okay. Because I don't think that they're always as replayable as some of the other stuff. Like, you know, music and movies, you can do any old time. Like, it's nice to watch something that you've seen before. But video games, like, if you've already beaten every level and you've already found all the stuff, like, you either start the game over from the beginning, but then it's easier. Like, I like the idea that you can sell it and get some of your money back or, like, give it to someone after you're done. Do you remember Hastings? Oh, yeah. I loved Hastings. So, yeah. Right, everybody did. Yeah. Because that was, like, a big part. You could take all your stuff, you know, mm-hmm. do some spring cleaning, take them a box of stuff, get some store credit or some cash. Mm-hmm. Right. And get new stuff. Yeah. And, that yeah, that whole <clears throat> sub-industry is just gone now. Yeah, which is kind of sad because I loved being able to go in and physically rent a DVD. Yeah. You know? I... I'm so glad to be rid of stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I'm a minimalist. You are. That's w- true. One of these days, we'll take a picture of my living room and you, you might be shocked. <laughs> There's like four things in there. It's like that. It's like the opposite of that one meme of the really messy room, but <laughs> it's like a, a completely empty room and it's like, man, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> yeah. 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 I just, I don't want a bunch of stuff like knickknacks, right. just. Yeah. Blah, 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 <laughs> duh. <laughs> And I get it. I'm sure I've illustrated that point. But I was getting sick of buying new things on new media every single time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not me necessarily. Let's take somebody 10 years older than me. Right. They could have conceivably purchased an album on reel, on record, on 8-track, on cassette, on CD, and on MP3. Mm Mm-hmm. So that that's they bought the same album six freaking times. Right. And see that part does bother me. You know, I hate that there's no like y- you can't transfer it. Yeah, if it if it just all falls under your account but th- but then again, we're also moving away from the ownership model. Right. Like, Which I just, also don't like because I don't want people to be able to take away things that I paid for. Right. Yeah. Well, you're not necessarily owning them or paying for them you're paying for the right to access them yeah whenever you want and i it took me forever my friend brad wanted me to get apple music the minute he did it took me mm-hmm. two or three years after him mm-hmm. to go okay and and honestly the value in that is for me to go hey siri play blank right <laughs> i will say i also i actually just recently got rid of all of my dvds too now by got rid of what I really did was give them to my parents, which is great because then I can go borrow them anytime. But you know, I don't have a ton of space to just store stuff, and I don't have a I don't have a DVD player. My video game con- my only video game console is a Switch, you know, which doesn't play DVDs or anything. Mm-hmm. So and plus I have like all the streaming platforms, so I've got everything I need. Plus my brother has a really robust Voodoo that I have access to. And he can he upload stuff to it? He can. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. That's yeah, that seems kind of I've never Right. used Voodoo, but that's kind of cool. Well, the cool thing is a lot of the newer DVDs will come with a code so that you can digitally store it too. <laughs> okay. So that you don't physically have to have the CD. Which I and think is the way to do it. And you're not digitally storing it. They're just there's a there's a spreadsheet you have on their server mm-hmm. and there's a tick box next to that movie that says, Yep, they can access it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <sighs> but anyway, wild. um, I finally got rid of my DVDs, but I did keep a few things. Like I kept um all of my video games, obviously, and I kept my um CDs, especially my uh local CDs that aren't like big ones that you can get right. online. You like lo- you love your local bands. I've got like I've got two two or three local band CDs that I I really do like. And then there's another one that I was so stupid and I didn't buy their CD and now I can't <sighs> find it anywhere and I have their songs stuck in my head all the damn time and I can't do anything about it. Do you remember the name of the band? I do. They actually used to be called the Love Capades and then they changed their names to their name to the Empire Kings. Okay, so this is a local band from Rexburg. Okay. Uh huh. Are they still doing their thing? I don't think so. I wonder if they're yeah. on uh, SoundCloud. I I tried to look them up on the internet a couple of times, and I haven't had any success. Well, that's what you get, right? I know for for liking obscure stuff. I know. So anyway, if anyone has a Love Capades <laughs> CD that they would let me burn, that would be really cool of you. Love Capades. Yeah, but like my Red Yeti yeah. CD, that one's the one that's in my car right now. 
Red Yeti? Uh-huh. Are they still active? They are not. <laughs> yeah. I, mean- <laughs> I know. Oh, you know what? That speaking of podcast ideas, that was one idea that I had. Uh-huh. Uh the ones who uh the ones who didn't make it. Where I go and I find like obscure weird stuff like that, whether they're bands or like, I don't know, failed actors or something, and I do little like podcasts about them. I think that'd be a really neat one. I'm going to stop giving you a hard time because, and can we segue a little bit? Right. Because you have made me hip to things way before I would have, because you do sort of dwell in obscure land Mm -hmm. a little bit. Example. Has been hotel. Right. Holy cow. Yeah. I'm really excited that it's finally out. I have been following it for, geez, like four or five years now. I believe you told me that the the creator Vivian Moreno. Uh Uh-huh. Wow. Madrano. Madrano. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she like took her viewers through the process of starting, kickstarting a cartoon, basically. Now, look, if you're... um. Easily offended or a child, do not watch it. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it, it's an it's adult animation, not yeah. not like in a porny way, but in a in a vulgar way. I don't know. It's there, it alludes to things. one of the characters. Angel Dust is a gay porn star. That's true. Yeah, and yeah. that song Poison. It's good. I know it is. Th- and that's I need to thing. show you another song with okay. that too. We'll get to that later. The reason it's so good is okay. Deal. Okay. The reason it's so good is it's just this hyper stylized style of animation. Right. The, the likes of which I've never seen. Yeah. You know, well, after a while, all the Disney Pixar stuff, DreamWorks stuff kind of looks the same. Mm-hmm. This is like eye candy mm-hmm. to the nth degree. I think so too. Well, and especially where all other adult animation looks like Bob's Burgers. Yeah. You know, where no one has a chin and all of their eyes are just perfectly round. Why does everybody <laughs> on Bob's Burgers look so dumpy? <laughs> well, to be fair, I think it's because most human beings look kind of la- dumpy. Yeah, the lack of <laughs> chins on everybody just, they look they frumpy and dumpy. <laughs> but you know what? I kind of like that because then it's sort of like the opposite of regular media where everyone's beautiful and you just can't, you can't. That's true. Yeah, you can't equal any of their aesthetic. But then there's Bob and Linda, and they're just so normal and just a little dumpy. You I know? just wonder how they um, put their pillowcases on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Without chins. <laughs> they probably have to help each other. <laughs> it's, yeah, a it's a two-person, two-person job. job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jinx, owe me a jelly belly orange sherbet. Okay, good. Sherbet. Oh, maybe. Do I say sherbet? <laughs> and this is free on Prime, by the way. Uh-huh. So, kids, don't go there. <laughs> Without well, your parents' permission. I guess permission. it's not free on Prime. You have to have a Prime subscription. Right. But. I, I thought that's what Prime meant. Well, yeah. It's but. free with Prime? Yeah, there you go. Okay. So it's has been Hotel is basically a halfway house because, so what's happening is Heaven is killing off a bunch of demons every season. And so in order for the demons to avoid, you know, basically genocide, at the mm-hmm. hands of uh, the Almighty mm-hmm. and and his, can you say legion when you're referring to angels? Legion sounds yeah. more like demons, but no, anyway. You, you, there are legions of, a- of angels too. Okay. Leagues. How about leagues of angels? There you go. And legions of devils. I don't yeah. know why legion has an evil connotation to me. Maybe that yeah. one movie or that, yeah, where that guy says, I am legion. Yes. We, yeah, we are. We many. are legion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um, has been hotel is a rehab for demons that want to get better and leave hell be redeemed for to go to heaven. Be, so it's a story of redemption. Yeah. Um, but it's a terrible, terrible show that kids shouldn't watch. <laughs> no, please don't. I think, well, and I, to and be honestly, fair, even just sensitive folk in general, it's got a lot of things that, I mean, it deals with a lot of really heavy topics and it could be sort of traumatizing if you're not in the headspace to watch it. If you don't know my sense of humor after six months, then I don't know what. I haven't done my job. But even I was shocked at a couple of things. I was like, and not just necessarily shocked, but just, well, that's unnecessary. Right, right. Channeling my mom or my grandma or something. Yeah. (laughs) 